Hello, this is Natalie from Line.Arrow from the Netherlands and I'm here with another um, December Daily um, spread and I have to do day 13 but I'm not going to do day 13, I'm going to do uh, the day that it is today I'm not sure what the date is so but I will going to uh, collect some items and then I'm going to make the spread of the day it's actually now I'm not going to try to catch up with other days because I also noticed my insert isn't um, well I can't put every day in it because I have limited pages so I think it's a good way to skip a few days and go on with the day you're actually at then I'm um, right on track I will be back in a minute and then I will zoom you out a little bit so you have a better view of what I'm doing because this is very narrow I see so we'll be back in a minute okay I'm back um, I was going to grab something but I forgot what I was going to grab so I'm not going to do that now I will uh, find out found out find out eventually what I'm missing um, um did already uh, search for some papers that I wanted to use um, I do want to use the items from a, from my uh, vintage Christmas 2020 edition junk journal kit um, I have these pages left and I decided I want to use this one if you're wondering why there are holes because I was planning to do them in my Firefox Firefox A5 ring bounder uh, ring binder system sorry and but I changed it up to this Traveler's Notebook insert so that's why they are they have um, the holes but well I'm going to use them anyway like this going to cut off a strip of this paper oh, I was looking for my corner rounder I think I think I did it a bit wonky the Yes, I did. Um, not sure on which which side I'm going to add this, and then the other side I'm going to add um, coffee dyed paper. It's a bit ripped over here, but I will fix it and maybe just cut it off. And I don't have a problem with it. I keep in the strips because you never know if they come in handy um, to add something. This is too wide. And again, very crooked. Sorry for the noise. I'm just putting the the bin a little bit closer. Yes. No, it's not going to work. Oh. It's empty almost. I'm going to get a new one. Well, I hope you guys are doing okay. Uh, over here in the Netherlands there's a lockdown. All the shops are closed besides the grocery stores and drug stores. And of course you can visit a doctor or any medical 
um, well, I don't know how you call it, but if you want to go to the, oh, like the dentist and some uh, things like that, that's still possible, but there's no shopping um, at the mall right now. So, uh, and, and post office is uh, still open. And if you are rebuilding your house, if you're moving and you have to do um, some, um, like putting on wallpaper or stuff like that, then you have to order it online and then you can um, collect it at the store, but it's all, uh, you have to do everything with an appointment. So we are... Um, not actually renovating our house but we do have to change the hallway because there was a new um, radiator installed and we have a new front door um, and a new back door and uh, the garden is finished, uh, the front, front yard garden, front yard, I'm not sure how you call it. We'll have two gardens, one at the front door and one at the back door. Um, obviously this is too small, but I'm going to fix this with the stress ink, so I'm not going to stress about it. <laughs> I'm going to stress over it with ink. Um, but, um, well, I'm not sure how things are in your country. Um, but there's no Christmas shopping um, possible only online. But we did have everything already. Online we did already, so not doing anything different right now. But um, I'm glad we did. But it's... It is a bit strange because it's very quiet on the streets uh, right now because they're, well, most of the shops are closed so you only see people do grocery and that's it. And it's, it's not, I don't think it's, it's natural, it's so quiet. Uh, but I do hope when we have this and maybe have a vaccine, well, um, well we can start again a little bit more natural life because this is not natural not able to visit each other or hold each other or give each other a hug it's to me it's not natural I don't like it but it is what it is right now so we have to deal with it and I'm not the only one so I'm not complaining but I do hope uh, for everybody we will return to normal again or at least as normal as possible I'm going to glue this strip on the right side of the page so it's a bit more balanced and I do want to point out again I'm not some pro uh, crafter or artist or designer or I'm just a simple girl in the Netherlands who likes paper crafts and the funny thing is um, in the Netherlands we have I told you uh, of the, the holiday uh, in a I think it was one video back um, that we have a holiday it's called Sinterklaas and we have the chocolate letters and everything I told you about yes I did and when when it especially it's uh, uh, for little children and then there's a Santa Claus we call Santa Claus Sinterklaas it's not the the guy from Christmas and he brings gifts to the pres uh, gifts to the children and uh, put them down the chimney and he has all helpers and uh, it's a traditional feast, but um, when you're older and you want to celebrate this holiday, you give each other a surprise. So you, we, 
we draw uh, each other names and then you write what you want maybe sometimes you uh, agree on an amount that you want to buy a present for and you you make um you craft um something like a pie of paper or um, maybe a book and it has to be related to the person you're giving the present to and i had to do that on school um myself when i was younger of course and i remember that i really did not like crafting these things i wasn't good at it my mother always helped me because she was very good at it and uh, i have a son myself and he had to do it at one point too making presents for other children in his class and i remember i did help him and i tried to do my best but i didn't glue anything i only used tape to be done very quickly because i absolutely did not like crafting at all and the funny thing is now i do it's only few 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 years later and i'm only i'm liking it so i think that's very strange um but you know, it is what it is. I do like stationery. I always did. I'm searching now for some things to put in also. I'm making a bit of a noise. I'm sorry. I have a string. I'm just grabbing some things and... Do not try to overthink it at all. No. No. I know I'm checking my own kit again. If there's something I can use. I lost them. Oh, it's over here. Checking the wrong bag. So, and I do have to get... That was what I was looking for. I think I do have to find the, the date circles. <clears throat> not sure what the date is today I think it's the 19th guessing Nineteen. is it the 19th oh, I'm not sure Yes, it's the 19th, because it's Monday 21, 21st, sorry. So today is number 19. And where did I left it? Here. I leave it here. <clears throat> I wanted to use this and not a full coin thingy. Oh, I like this one better. Mistletoe wishes, no Christmas wishes and mistletoe kisses. That's the one I'm going to use. I do have this envelope. I have this. This. And I still have this. I'm going to see if I'm going to work with these. Not sure yet. I like this one better. I can leave it like this.
maybe like this. Number 19. I do have this in the air there's feeling of Christmas and I want to put it over here <clears throat> but maybe I want to put it on a piece of paper first yes I want to I'm going to rip it in the edges And I think this is a bit too wide, so I'm going to dab over it with my vintage photo so it will be not so bright white. <coughs> Sorry. And of course, ink the edges so it stands out better. I'm going to ink this too. I printed this on a sticker, a sticker page, an A4 size um, large sticker, self sticky page, but I think I did, yes I did, this is sticker, but I'm not sure if the, the right print is on the wrong side or, I think this was the right side but I messed it up, no. This has a a brand name on it, but I I'm having a hard time pulling this off. Oh, I have it. This is this. Yes, this is the sticky side, so I can glue it, stick it on the, the envelope, don't have to use glue. I really like the look of the small envelope that I printed on I think it's tracing paper it's not really vellum but I like the fact that there are a bit see-through see-through and I also like the sound the, the crackling sound of the paper and this is the last thing I have to Ink. I'm going to glue down the envelope first so it can dry.
want to make a pocket with I want to leave the side open so you can tuck it in like this because otherwise I don't think it's going to fit on top no maybe yes maybe no I'm not taking chances sliding off. I had to wait a bit to dry. Put you a little bit close so maybe you can see better this way. I wanted to collage these pieces over here. Not sure how I placed it. I think it was something like this. No. Yes. I want to put this so it's sticking out a bit. I like that. And this I'm going to glue down. And I'm leaving the, the end of the parcel die cut open because otherwise I glue it on the page and I can't tuck anything in. And this is number 19. No, not this way. This way. So the thing is I lay it out before I glue it and then I glue it down. It's completely different than I laid it down the first time <laughs> I think everybody has this thing not only me I want to wrap around this um, twine to give it a little bit more texture texture and a little bit more interest otherwise it's just a plain envelope Stick it in like this. So, day number 19 finished. Yay! I did it. Um, I also told you in the previous video that I was uh, so happy about uh, me finding uh, a tap punch that was uh, the wheel punch. Well, it turns out it's just this punch, not a punch, punch, sorry. It's this one. I do like it, of course. Um, but, well, I was also a bit disappointed that I was not getting the one I thought I was getting. But I didn't read very well because it's on the... It probably was mentioned very well. I didn't see it, but I do like it. So I um, want to do something with these two. 
but um, well this is the spread for today uh, I hope you like it if you do give it a thumbs up maybe you want to leave some comments down below in the comment section uh, you can uh, subscribe to my channel, hit the bell, so you will be notified when I upload new videos. And hope to see you next time. Stay safe, stay creative, have a good day. Um, greetings from the Netherlands. Bye bye.